The dot product is a very useful tool that you can use with vectors to compare the directions of two different unit vectors. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the direction from an NPC to a character and the direction an NPC is facing. Then we'll compare those two directions to decide whether the character is in the NPC's field of view and run different code based on that as feedback. Alright, so here I am on an empty base plate. I have a NPC to work with and I have a local script that I added into starter character scripts which is where we'll be doing our uh, FOV calculation and I've just gone ahead and made a run service that render stepped connection so I can run a function every frame and I've also gone ahead and localized the NPC and the character so I've done all the basic stuff gotten that out of the way and we can get right into the vector stuff so I'm gonna make a new vector call it local uh, NPC to character. First, you want to find the endpoint, which is going to be the character. Character dot, and you need some sort of part inside, so I'm going to do the head dot position minus the NPC dot head dot position. And then we also need to wrap this into some parentheses. You always want to have the starting position in the second uh, parameter and you're subtracting from the endpoint. And I use dot unit to turn it into a unit vector, which is necessary for comparing direction only. And the other vector that we need is the, I'm gonna call this the MPC look, and this is gonna be the vector in the direction that the MPC is looking in. And that's very simple. We're just gonna grab the C frame of the head and then we're gonna, gonna grab the look vector of the C frame, and it's gonna look like this. NPC dot head dot C frame dot look vector. And it says it's already got on the auto sense right there. And this is already a unit vector by default, so we don't have to use dot unit. And now I'm gonna do the dot product. So I'm gonna do local uh, dot product and it doesn't matter which order you do this in. You can do this and dot this, or NPC look and dot NPC to character. Just like multiplication, it doesn't matter which order you're in. Uh, three times five is the same thing as five times three. So NPC to character. And every single vector has a function in it called uh, colon dot, and then parentheses. And then inside the parentheses, you just give it the other vector that you want to compare it with. So MPC look, we're comparing the MPC to character vector direction and the MPC look and it's going to return some value between and as low as negative one up to one. So let's go ahead and just real quick print the dot product and this will print every frame as I walk around the MPC. Um, as you can see right now it says uh, point negative 0 0.98 and that is because I am just almost exactly behind the NPC. If I start to move towards uh, the side of the NPC, it gets close to zero. And as I move start uh, towards the front of the NPC, it moves close to one. Now it's 0.99, positive. And as I move back over here, it goes back to zero. And as I move back to the back of the NPC, it moves towards negative uh, one. So what did we see here? Well, basically, the difference of the two vectors, the angle, is what decides what number this is going to the dot product is going to return. If the uh, if the two vectors are very similar to each other, it'll be a value close to one. If they're exactly the same vector, it will return one. And then as you go farther and farther and farther, you get a lower and lower value up until you get to zero. When you get to zero, that means the vectors are perfectly perpendicular. And then if you go even farther towards the negative, you get into the negative numbers. And if you have two vectors that are absolutely uh, opposite from each other, you'll get negative one. So hopefully this picture that I have up right here, uh, as well as the print that I just did, uh, makes a little bit of sense. I want the NPC's FOV to be from 60 degrees to the right and 60 degrees to the left if dot product is greater than 
0.5, then the character is in field of view, else character is not in field of view. And I'm just going to add some basic feedback just so that we can see um, we can see the change happen immediately. All right, so now the workspace dot base plate dot brick color should change depending on whether the dot product is greater than 0.5 or not, and that will just help us visualize that uh, 0.5 dot product. And there we go. So whenever I am stepped into the NPC's field of view, which ranges from here all the way to about here, that uh, the red workspace base plate turns red to let us know the dot product is greater than 0.5 and outside it is less than 0.5. I can even uh, stand on his head because the this would be 0. If I stand right in front of him that would be 1. If I stand right behind him that would be negative 1. So I hope you guys get the point by now. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with the dot product. This is just one very common example. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful for some of you. Uh, I know you guys liked my magnitude tutorial uh, a while back, so I decided to make another one on vectors. Uh, until next time, see you guys in the next video.